In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to make direct changes to your objects in a number of program windows in Atlas TI. If you'd like to change an object's name, this can often be done directly in a variety of locations. These changes can also have a global or a local impact depending on their context. Let's start out by looking at some contexts that produce global changes. One place where you can modify objects directly is in the Primary Document Manager to change the names of your documents. To rename a document, you can follow the standard renaming procedure for Windows applications, which is to click separated by a short delay, or click on the object's name and hit the F2 key. This will cause a text field to appear where you can type in the object's new name. As you can see, the effect of this change is relatively clear. However, note that if this document was a member of a network view, the name of the network node will automatically be updated to reflect this change. Any changes that you make in the four main object managers, as well as in your network views, will have a global impact on your project. This becomes more apparent when we look at changing code names. Let's cut to a view where I've opened up a few different windows and tools where the code Alchemy appears in the project. And when I go to change the code's name in the Code Manager by simply right-clicking on Alchemy and choosing the item Rename, you can see as soon as I hit Enter that it has also been changed at all of these points. You can also make global changes to object names in the code forest or in the object explorer. To reverse a single rename, go to the extras menu and select undo. What if you would like to change a single occurrence of a code? You can rename a specific coding directly in the margin area. Before you do this, go into your general preferences and make sure that the correct settings are in place. You can make global changes in the margin area, but usually when we're working in the margin alongside a primary document, we most often want to make a specific individual change. So simply make sure here that the button Local Replace is checked. Now we'll return to the primary document and select the code Nick in the margin. Note this code in the Code Manager its current groundedness, and its neighboring codes. If I make a slight change to the code's name, the new code will appear with a groundedness of 1 in the Code Manager. The original code has been unlinked from its quotation, so its groundedness has decreased. A new code has been created and linked to the quotation. So what might seem like a simple name change in the margin is actually a combination of three different operations. For this reason, there is no direct undo for the replace option, as there is for the rename option. In a final note, let's review the places where you can rename objects in place and their respective scopes. You can make global changes in all object managers, the object explorer, and the code forest. In the margin area, you can make local or global changes depending on the setting that is active in your general preferences. And when you rename your objects in network views, this will also have a global impact on your project, although in-place editing is not yet available in these windows. And that wraps up this mini-tutorial. Thank you.